ladies and gentlemen, I feel like June is about to be moist. Sit back, relax, grab a snack. And let's get into the video. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy X here, and I'm back with another video. Sorry for that weird, weird, weird intro and stuff. I don't know if I was just hungry and stuff. But anyway, today, I want to talk about that uh that uh that summer games fest and um uh, and just go over everything that we know so far and stuff like that so I, I, i'm sorry i'm gonna be breaking down everything some things i want to talk about like this one on the screen right now jeff and stuff and the they released the schedule of you know all the events from june to august now if I've been saying this in all my videos, if you guys could go check them out, I've been saying that it's been extremely, extremely dry since like February. And it has March, April, and now May. So we're going to almost three months of dryness. So, and it's been real like desert dry, like sandpaper, like ashy skin dries, dry. So, um, but now June, I feel like finally we get to, finally we get to see some gaming news, some probably new reveals, some updates, just something to give us something to talk about. Because I'm a, I'm a new slash, you know, uh, commentary channel uh, for games, so I depend on news and stuff and just something to talk about. And it's so hard when there's nothing to talk about on the show because. No games are really coming out that 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 I want and stuff like that, which means no reviews, no X recommends, and y y right. So this probably would give us something to really, you know, stuff to look at, stuff like that. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure that you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, make sure you be out so 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 much, and let's just get right into this summer game fest. Everything we know, news. All right, so before I go over to the, the, the other page, stuff like that, I found this on Twitter. Jeff, I was, I was scrolling. Through, now, I know that this is probably old and stuff, but I just came across this and stuff when, when I was getting this video idea together. It says, surprise, on June 9th, you can watch Summer Games Fest live in IMAX. Just imagine you're going to the movie theater and you have all these movies to choose from. Like, you know, it, 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 it's a Friday night, right? It's Friday night. You you just got off of work or, or whatever, school and stuff like that. You want to hang out with your friends, you know, or, 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 or if you have a special someone, whether that's a man or a woman, you want to take them to a nice movie, nice dinner out and stuff. You're telling me that you it, it, are you gonna pick to watch? Yeah, let me watch a gaming conference in a movie theater because that's not weird. Because that's that's gonna sell real tickets. Go into IMAX to see the Game Awards and Summer Game Fest, especially how they are now, especially the Game Awards. So you, you so you tell me that you, you'll be sitting there for three well damn the, the, I mean the show is three three hours three hours fucking long so that's like that's end game length so you but you tell me that, that you're gonna sit there and watch commercials advertisements in the theater you might well just sit at home and watch YouTube videos with ads then because that because because that's what it is so it says. IMAX team up with Summer Game Fest and Game Awards. So basically, you can watch the uh, Summer Game Fest on June 9th, and then you can watch the Game Awards in, uh, in theaters. That's so weird. In December. That is so weird. It's so. Uh, no. No, 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 no. See, 
like, like I said, there's some things and stuff that are good for a game and showcase, and there are other things that are not. The things that are not, of course, is all the all the politics, the commercials, the advertisements and stuff instead of showing real games. And then now putting it in the movie theater and stuff. Like you expect people to sit in the movie theater when they want to go see a real movie, a real film. But they say, you know what? I'm going to see the game, the, the game, the, the Summer Games Fest. Jeff, your show better be. I'm talking about the game. Jeff, me and you right, me and you right here. Your show better be fire, straight heat, no commercials, no nothing, just straight games. Because if you are going to put this at IMAX and it's going to be like it was last year for the Game Awards or Summer Games Fest, boy, people are going to have issues and stuff. So, yeah, so, you know, I know it's a small stuff, but it's just weird and stuff. I, it's, it's not like I don't like it. I just don't care about it. But it's like, why would you put it in theaters? Like, I mean, yes, his shows are very long and stuff now. It's stuff like three hours long, so of course it's film, it's, it's feature length, but it's like no one is gonna go to movie theaters to see a game and showcase nobody, like nobody, dog, like nobody, 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 nobody's gonna go to the theaters to see a game and showcase when you can watch it on your phone, TV, gaming system, whatever, and stuff. So, all right, so here we are to the main. Event. The reason why I wanted to do this video and to talk about stuff like that, even though I talked about that weird ass, you know, it's going to be in the IMAX theater. So, uh, Summer Games Fest, um, you know, I'm not looking forward to this event and stuff. Now, Jeff Keeley, you're a great guy. So, he seems like a great guy, very nice, very humble and stuff. But the my issue is not with him. Is the way that he runs his shows and the structure of his shows and stuff. You saw how in the Game Awards, how he how he was speed reading through through all the game do some of the game categories, just speed reading to them, and not give our developers really to talk on stage after they win an award. Just just rush them off stage, and you see a fucking advertisement of AT and T for the fiftieth time. Or Ray Shaw Legends, or 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 an underwear commercial, and they were showing movie trailers in a, a Game Awards, a Game Awards, when it's supposed to be about the games and celebrating the developers and stuff, and giving them the time to shine on a spotlight. Not these fucking ass commercials and big companies and stuff like that. Because come on now, like. I'm not tuning in to, to, to get shoved in my face by AT&T. It's a switch over to at t and save over 200 bucks with trading. No, no. So, you know, I, that's what's my only problem with Jeff Keighley and stuff is the way that he does a showcase and stuff. And sometimes it can be irritating uh, a lot of the time, especially when shows are three hours long. Is he a... Cut your show down if you want to have nothing to show and you want to show advertisement, just cut off to like one hour, one hour and 50 minutes. It's the but if you are going to show something, it's the if shows are going to be three hours long or two hours or whatever, you, you gotta show nothing but games. I don't indie games, triple A games, double A games, and stuff. You got to stick on the games that's what people click on these events they don't click on to see a, a commercial for a movie trailer no so yeah but here we have so we had the the uh the, the schedule now of course e3 has been canceled i did a whole video about it and stuff you, i'm gonna go check it out and stuff you know it's sad because i grew up with e3 and a lot of people did and seeing it in this state kind of it kind of is, it's like a bullet to the heart and stuff. It's kind of, kind of hurts and stuff. But they are said that they come back next year. But either it has been going downhill for 
years. I think after Sony really Sony left and stuff, and these companies have shown that they don't need E3 to stay on their own or to build up hype or or excitement stuff like that. People would just tune into the 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 the, the uh, the Sony Showcase, Nintendo Show, uh, a direct, and the Xbox Showcase. So you know which have been very successful. Just look at uh, the the PlayStation Showcase from 2020 and 2021. They've been very successful and stuff. Xbox Showcases, the same thing. So now we come into a time where E3 is not really needed no more stuff it's not really like need like back, back, like back in the day we know we didn't have you know all all these streaming services and, and access so e3 was it and stuff like that it was like christmas in the summertime for gamers and stuff and i mean i'm glad that they still continue the, you know the the trend because i i got i look forward to this and stuff in the in, in the beginning of june I've always looked good, look forward to E3 and stuff and new stuff. It's it, it just something about, you know, no, it, no, it's around the corner. It's getting hyped and stuff. So, yeah. So, so we got the schedule for all the showcases. So I'm looking forward to, yeah, after uh, the pandemic mm -hmm, plans. Yeah. So basically, so, uh, so basically is, is there a way to say, okay, look, E3 is canceled, but we have this. So, getting right into the schedule and stuff. So, this is what we have so far. So far. And I'll get into to the times. So, June 9th is the gaming, is a uh, Summer Game Fest Live. This is the kickoff show. Now, Jeff changed the show. So, now the show is going around from the 9th all the way down to the 12th to, to Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase and stuff. So it's kind of like E3, kind of like it and stuff because no other link. I think E3 was like three days, sometimes four days. So you know, it, it it's kind of Jeff way say okay. It says you know E3, let's you know try to not replace it, but try to fill it in you know the gap. So June knife is the kickoff show. I'm going to be reacting to it and stuff, seeing, you know, all, you know, all the, I'll be going crazy. Hopefully, 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 like I said, I'll have my, my, my expectations for these, for these showcases are so low and stuff. So hopefully we can see some bangers, get some news and stuff from Sony, from Xbox and stuff, which I know that Xbox is probably going to showcase there and stuff. And Xbox and, 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 and Pathetic is a showcase that I'm looking forward the most. Because again, Starfield has got delayed and stuff like that. We don't know if they're gonna show gameplay for it. And so, like again, I don't know why people are so hyped for that game because we haven't seen nothing. But hopefully, we will. And you know, I can blow off the dust off my Xbox and actually use it. So, yeah. So June night, um, Summer Game Fest and stuff. Um, came up for that June knife Day of Devs. I guess it's just to celebrate, you know, the developers and stuff like that, which is, which is nice, stuff like that, because, you know, we forget that there are actually people that work on these games, not robots, not the games will just come out of thin air and stuff. These are people that actually work on these games and stuff like that. Blood, sweat, and tears, you know, you know, they spend so much time and stuff. So shout out to all the developers and stuff like that, you know, you're the reason why we are playing games to this day and stuff so you know sometimes you, you cannot forget and stuff there are people just like us that are passionate that are making games but they are putting in the work so so shout out to you guys so june 10th uh netflix uh we, we give <laughs> netflix Yuck. Uh, anyway, so June 10th, uh, gaming, I don't know what that is, gaming spotlight. So, okay, so so these are all part of Summer Game Fest and stuff like that. So I don't know it's gonna be separate conference. I'm not gonna react to these, uh, these, cause I, I, I don't think it's a showcase or reveals. It's just, it says Geek Week, Day of Devs and stuff, okay. And then this spotlight. June 11th. 
We got uh, the, uh, the the Gorilla Showcase. The, the, uh, the, um, direct. Don't, don't know what that is, but okay. But June 12th here is the Xbox and Bethesda Showcase. This ladies and gentlemen is where it gets juicy because everybody's looking forward to this because again xbox i think is the only really big showcase for the summertime um so it doesn't really do their showcases in the summertime well before they left e3 and stuff they don't the they, 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 i think the last PlayStation event they uh showcase they did was in the beginning of september late august stuff like that so towards the end of summer they that's when they dropped their event uh you know right when all you know all the kids are going back to school and stuff school shopping and stuff which th that's a good time and stuff to do it because you know which i don't know why that's a good time to do it because everybody's going back to school and stuff if you're a kid uh so the Xbox showcase definitely going to tune into this you know i'm i'm looking for what they have to you know show hopefully that they show first party tiles for game pass to make me want to play on game pass and not just old games or remaster games and stuff like that i want to xbox i want to see you put your studios that you brought to use i want to see what they're working on everybody does i don't hate xbox i love xbox but it kills me that we haven't really seen that that one game yet to say okay this is why i'm going to subscribe to game pad this is why i'm going to play you know you know I, I, and this is why i'm going to turn on my xbox it hasn't been that way yes you know halo forza those are already staples those are already legendary franchises i want to see something new new ip new something and stuff you know so yeah, uh, uh, Game Pass is awesome, but it lacks that first party, you know, games, those big giant games. So hopefully, hopefully we we'll see June 12th. Of course, we got PC gaming in the show. Uh, uh, I'm not into PC gaming, so I'm not going to go. But it, it says plus future game show. So might react to that, but probably won't post a video. We got June 26th to July Third, we got summer game effects done quick. Uh, summer games done quick. Don't know what that is because no, dang, so that was from the end of June to early July. And we got August and stuff. We got THQ, uh, digital showcase and stuff. I'm surprised that this company is still around and stuff. I thought that it was mostly, there was mostly popping back in the PS2 era. So that's good. And then we got uh, August. We got August uh, 18th to the 20th is, uh, what is it? okay, whatever that is. And then we have to the 24th to the 28th Gamescom. Now, of course, Gamescom is another big event and stuff with probably more reveals and stuff. So it goes from the 24th to the 28th and stuff. So we'll be checking that out and stuff. It, it just any new trailers and stuff. So yeah so summertime and stuff is really where we it, it, it it's gonna be dry for gaming because no no gets really coming down the summertime besides saint row in august but i think summertime is mostly for the news and stuff to get hyped about either what's coming out in the fall or next year and stuff so you know really news heavy for the whole summertime i'm gonna be busy and stuff between work going to beach and you know spend time with my family but grinding this for you guys so and putting out some banger videos so okay so before we get out of here i want to say uh so right here we had the time so june 20 uh 2022 so these are the times for the shows and stuff uh so summer game fest live thursday J june 9th at seven uh seven um uh, basically uh, I, I i live on the east coast so that's 2 p.m here and stuff which okay th 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 that's good um definitely 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 will be tuning in for that all right so here we have the uh days for devs uh this is also june 9th uh exact time 
be, be following me. Okay, so this is after you know, you know, uh, the game, uh, the uh, you know, the kickoff show, um, and you know, it it's just so you know to thank the developers and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, Netflix Geek Week is Friday, June twelfth, so so a day after the you know the live showcase, uh, at one p.m. That's okay. This one is on Friday too at 3 p.m. So a lot, a lot, a lot of news and stuff. I, and stuff, it's, especially if you're a fan of AAA or indies. But I don't care about Netflix. This one's on Saturday, uh, June 11th at 11 a.m. Of course, you know, just look at your time. Uh, not too many uh, indie spotlights on indie games. Okay, so okay, so, so this is mainly for like indie games and stuff. Okay, so that's cool. But here it is: Xbox Bethesda Showcase Sunday, June twelfth at one p.m. Eastern and stuff. Where I'm at, that's because I really want to see Redfall because I know these two games got delayed. Um, because all we really got is a CGI trailer too for this game, and I forgot all about Redfall and stuff. I'm gonna be honest with you, because everybody just talked about Starfield, 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 but not Redfall. So hopefully that we see something. No ish. It says no details on a schedule one just yet, but uh, this is for the channel. Uh, rotation 90, 90. Minutes runtime will go to Starfield and Red Falls. Oh well, again, they they haven't really talked about what's gonna be shown at their showcase and stuff. I guess they want to keep it surprised. So I'm so I'm guessing that's gonna be probably be like an hour and a half long. Uh, maybe they show Starfield and some Red Fall because at this point it is delayed. So they're gonna have to show something to hold. You know the you know the fans that are hyped for this game over because everybody was pissed when it got delayed to the point where Phil Spencer had to come out and say, "Listen, listen, we want to make sure that that that, 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 that the game is fixed and and run it smooth because you know we don't want a broken game. You, you do not want the ever always says this now. It's called the cyber the cyberpunk effect. Is what I'm calling it." Nobody wants another cyberpunk issue and stuff. And, you know, I'm glad that these developers are starting to learn the hard way. Because CJ probably read had to learn the hard way of what happens when you release a broken game that is not ready. Delay your game. If it's going to make it better, you got to push it back. I'm all for I'm delays. If you need more time, take your time and stuff. You know, cause at the end of the day, these are just games. So, you know, it, 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 it's really not, not that serious. So, that is all the information that, that, that we know so far about Summer Game Fest. Um, and so, maybe, as probably close, we get closer to June, we'll get more details and stuff. Probably n n n n new trailers. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. Boys and girls, buckle up because it's about to be bumpy and stuff. It, it's been so damn dry. I cannot wait till we finally get some new information just about anything. Gotham Knights and stuff is getting down. I'm looking forward to it. Even though that gameplay needs work, but it's a lot of games that I want to see and stuff. And maybe announcements and stuff. And then, of course, I will be covering it all on this channel stuff like that so stay tuned for that if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure you smash the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel make sure you i'll cut you out so 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 much stay tuned for my uh, uploads guys and until next time stay safe take it easy peace <laughs>